Hey guys, welcome back to another video brought to you today by Total Cards and today we have the holy grail of sealed TCG kind of products at the moment. Forget about Pokemon, forget about Yu-Gi-Oh! Magic. We've got flesh and blood in our hands, the fourth set. So this is, <laughs> it's still pretty early days for flesh and blood and these products are so sought after no one can get a hold of them and we're going to be opening two whole booster boxes and hope to see some fabled or legendary flesh and blood cards now you might think oh that box looks a little banged up yeah so out of the very little stock we received um, we got a couple which we're going to be opening um, that came a little bit worse for wear than all the rest of them and because of the nature of these products and a lot of people will keep them sealed just because of how valuable they are and just how like little quantities are available um, we thought it'd probably be better to open these <laughs> rather than um, send these out for orders, etc., etc. But without further ado, let's get cracking. Try and crack open some of these boxes that are near impossible to get the cellophane off. Get rid of that legendary, uh, the Legend Story Studios wrapper, and crack into our first box of Monarch. There's, although the spoilers and stuff have come out, I'm not any flesh and blood expert you know I've played some of the game and you know there's a bit here and a bit there but I'm not an expert so I'm mainly gonna say ooh shiny card or ooh <laughs> expensive card but one thing with flesh and blood we I think everyone can agree with as well the artwork on these cards are insane the packs these are so cool they haven't done this kind of a thing it's like a light in a dark boost pack so it's so cool Um, yeah let's crack on open the first pack. Let's see if we get any of that first pack magic. So, right off the bat, we've got an Iris of Reality. No, we don't. <laughs> We're backwards. <laughs> so, we've got Smash with Big Tree. We've got Rift Bind. We've got Graveling Growl. We've got Herald of tenacity and you got you got it's a it's a light so that's one of the new things that have been added with monarch the light and darks and we've got war tune herald blood tribute y yinty yanti very yin and yangy you see you see that there? that's such a cool one and we got memorial ground pound for pound zealous belting uh, as our foil We've got here is, I don't know if you can see it, the Common Spew Shadow. So this is a rainbow foil. You can get two different types of foils from the first edge. You can get cold, uh, cold foil and rainbow foil. I'm pretty sure cold foils are limited only to like equipments and stuff like that. Um, and then as another common, uh, our rare is Parable of Humility. Uh, convul convulsions <laughs> from the bellows of hell that I'm butchering it here and our token is prism so these were our rare two so yeah flesh and blood have different types of cards they have actions they have heroes they have equipment uh, weapons so the cold file ones you expect to see are the, the weapons and equipment and you know the stuff people um oh not to mention these cards on the back are usually double sided as well so they've kind of got a bit more you know purpose to them you've either got a hero or you've got an equipment there which is kind of helpful um because you know these are these are the kind of cards that don't change yeah uh, depending on if you're staying with a light or something deck so we've got riff through reality we've got deadwood rumbler seeds of agony take flight Enigma Chimera, uh, Courageous Steel Hand, uh, Void Wraith, uh, Belittle, yeah, Belittle, this little dude. <laughs> uh, we've got Spew Shadow, Memorial Ground, uh, Blood Tribute. Uh, as our foil, we've got Bandish, which is pretty generic action. It's got Go Again, so probably, <laughs> you know, your ninjas. Uh, kind of helpful. We'll keep the foils out just in case because the foils are always have some kind of value. Then our equipment, we've got generic equipment chest um, We've got a merciful retribution as our rare. That's a really, that's an interesting artwork that one. It's, a, it's like a scroll kind of art. I don't know what the, and we've got a majestic shadow of Urza. That's pretty good. 
um, the prices of all these cards are still up in the air because not many people have got a hold of them but definitely uh, uh, we'll take we'll take a majestic not too shabby at all and then on the back we've already seen is the chain not bad I think you've got guaranteed pull rates this is like the first well I guess they opened up crucible before but I am very much an amateur flesh and blood pack opener so I hope he's bear with me but I really do hope we pull some really interesting stuff so we got gravel and growl uh, bounding demigon unworldly below Herald of Tenacity, um, Express Light, Lightning, that's a really cool one. Um, Spears of Sorelity, Memorial Ground, Warmonger's Recite, Re 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 Recital, <laughs> I'm not good at this at all, uh, Be Belittle, we've got Void Wrath, uh, Minnowism, and is this our foil? Yeah, so some of the foils on these cards are super hard. It's a foil rare though, so we'll definitely take it. It's really cool. Some of them are kind of hard to distinguish because like, not all the card will be foil. So here you can see it's just the sword that's foil, uh, which is really interesting. Um, we put you down here. And then we have our equipment, which is Aoife Iron, Iron Weave. Our rare Valiant Thrust. And another rare Glisten. And on the back, we have got Hatchet of Mind. We'll just keep pulling stuff I think's cool. Now, if we've got some flesh and blood expert watching this video, if I miss something that is a, a, a dime in a dozen, like a gem, be sure to let us know in the comments as well. So I really don't want to miss anything. So we've got Rifted Torment, Bounding Demagon, Boneyard Marauder, Bolt of Courage, Enigma Chimera, Second Swing, Yinti Yanti, uh, Zealous Belting, uh, we've got, oh, that's really cool artwork, that one. That's Impenetrable Belief. Reminds me of, like, um, Origins, kind of. Um, we've got Pound for Pound. We've got Eclipse. Oh, that's the um, the demon from the box art. That's so cool. Eclipse Extin uh, Existence, which is an instant. And then we've got our Light Action, which is Rising Salty Blade. It's really cool. The um, the camera is kind of picking up our, on the track, and it's it's kind of very weird. I've never seen it do that before. A uh, halo of illumination as our equipment, and then as our uh, we've got seeping shadows and a majestic nourishing emptiness. That is so cool. The artwork on these cards is stunning, and then on the back we've got our double-sided demon ally. Another majestic. Um. If anyone's panicking that we haven't sleeved anything, don't worry. Everything gets sleeved at the end when we come to sort the cards. So what I haven't mentioned is, although we did get a limited amount of flesh and blood and we have sent out loads of boxes to people who have ordered them, so best of luck everyone who's got some flesh and blood boxes on the way. I hope you get some good pulls out of them. Um, so people have these expecting. We've got a few left over. They're on the website and also these cards will be on the website soon as well. So. If they're not on by the time you're watching this video, they'll be up soon enough. Uh, same with old Flesh and Blood products as well. We have, you know, Welcome to Rafe, Arcane Rising. Not First Eds, obviously. We can dream. <laughs> um, Smash with Big Tree. We've got Rifted Torment. We've got Gravel and Growl. We've got Enigma Chimera. We've got Express Lightning again. We've got Courageous Steel Hand. We've got Rising Solar Tide. Uh, Rally the Rear Guard. Uh, we've got Stony Wattenhog, Illuminate, that's so cool. And we've got Blinding Beam. And then it's as our uh, foil, we've got Bolt of Courage as a common. Pretty cool. Put you down here. We've got our equipment, which is Ironhide Plate. Our rare invigor in <laughs> Invigorating Light, which is so cool. That card is very cool. And then we've got Herald of Judgment. That's a Yu-Gi-Oh card. <laughs> uh, which is a rare. And on our back we've got Hatchet of Mind and Spectral Shield. We'll put our rares down still. We're definitely going to run out of space in this opening. There's no way we're going to fit everything on the table. Always throws me off when I see a double-sided card. So, we have got Piercing Shadow Vise. Very cool. Uh, Dread Screamer. Piercing Shadow Visor double, two in the same pack, okay. So what well, you might, intro even though these cards look the same, they're not because they've got a different color at the top, so red and blue. And the difference is between their pitch cost and the player cost. Um, so you can see this one costs three to play, whereas this one only costs one. 
Uh, so kind of interesting. They have di different damage attacks as well, so 4-2. So even though they're the same card, they kind of work differently. Some have a bigger cost, some don't. Uh, we've got Enigma Chimera, Memorial Ground, Illuminate, Minoism, <laughs> Zealous Belting, uh, Overlord, and as our foil, we've got Herald of Ravages. This is another cool foil. And then we'll put you down. And then as our equipment, we've got Ironhide Helm. As our rare, we've got Invigorating Light. And as our... Is this a Majestic? Yeah, it's a Majestic. It's Sonata Ar Ar Arcanix. It's a really cool artwork as well. The Flesh and Blood guys, they just knock it out of the park with these artworks. And then we've got uh, one of the new heroes, um, Bolton, and his axe. Very cool. Yeah, the, honestly, the artwork on these cards, they definitely, they definitely knock it out of the park. Some really cool stuff going on. Let's see what we can get. Come on. So we got uh, Riftbind, uh, Deadwood Rumbler, Arcan uh, Arcanic Crackle, Herald of Tenacity, Take Flight, Herald of Rebirth, Ghostly Visit, Brandish, uh, Binding Beam. I kind of like the look at the border on that card. It's well different. It's very cool. That's your standard border, and then you've got that. It's really cool. Um, Ray of Hope. Uh, we've got Submerging Militia. And as a common, we've got a Ray of Hope foil. This foil looks so nice. It's got the border I was just talking about. So like it, it kind of like gives it that different kind of feel. Like a magic full art almost. And we'll put you down here so we don't forget. Then as our equipment, we've got Stubby Hammers. <laughs> uh, we've got Glisten as our rare. And as our second rare, we've got Dusk Path. Pilgrimage, and then on the end we've got Soul Shackle and Spectral Shield. Are we doing okay? It feels like we're doing okay. The packs feel like they've got so much value because, like, look at how many cards you get a pack. Like, it, the camera isn't doing it just to see. It's got too much to focus on. But like, it, it feels like you could put three of these together and you've got a deck. You know, <laughs> like, uh, that's crazy. So we've got Smash with Big Tree. Uh, we've got Riftbind, we've got Graveling Growl, we've got Bolt of Courage, another cool artwork, and a different kind of border on it as well, really cool. Uh, we've got Herald of Rebirth, another cool border. These cards are so cool. Uh, War Tune Emerald, Frontline Scout, uh, Minnowism, uh, Void Rift, look at that border as well. They're so cool. Uh, Impenetrable Leaf, uh, Ghostly Visit. As our foil, generic action, we've got Minnowism. Really cool. You can see where they like this. This it's 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 really weird, but it's a common foil. We'll take it. It's very cool. And hooves of the shadow beast, seek horizon, soul harvest, and Gaxi black. That's really cool. Yeah, I skipped over them too, but they're both rares as well. So don't don't panic, Roka. But yeah, if anyone in who's watching this video can get a hold of some flesh and blood, go on and total cards and they try and get yourself some before they're gone. Because again, flesh and blood, it doesn't wait around for anyone. And once the first sets are gone, they don't get reprinted. So if you're not wanting to like, you know, go crazy and like pick up the first sets, we do have the unlimbs as well. And the unlimbs are more for like, you know, you're a player, you want an affordable option. These boxes are very col like collector's items, stay sealed forever. Um, really, really crazy kind of to see a, a game that hasn't been around that long be like this already. Um, where are we got? So we've got Take Flight, uh, Surging Militia, uh, Rising Solitide, uh, Binding Beam, uh, Yinti Yanti, uh, Belittle, uh, Battlefield Blitz as our rare foil. It's been a while since we've seen a rare foil, we'll take it. Light Warrior Attack and it is well cool. The foil probably makes it feel like it's like irradiating. Very cool. And then as our equipment, we've got um, Ebb and Fold and then Herald of Triumph for our rare and Soul Reaping as our second rare. It does feel like we're getting a lot of value out of the packs, genuinely. We'll move this box over here. So we've got more room to go this direction. <laughs> so, next pack we have got a Dreadwood Rumbler, a Seeds of Agony, a Unworldly Bellow, a Watching Herald, a Herald of Tenacity, a Tenacity, or Express Lightning, Adrenaline Rush, that's a cool one. Uh, Stony Wattenhog, Brandish, Belittle, uh, Blood Tribute, 
an Azoa foil, that's a really cool one. But a common generic attack, frontline scout. And this foil kind of cool because it's just like the red in the background and a face. So that's a really cool foil. They do kill it. They do kill it. It's not just like a whole foil card. They, there's definitely some detail put in there. So it's really cool. We've got Hooves of the Shadow Beast as the equipment. And as our rare, we've got Pulping. And then as our second rare, we've got Unhallow Rites. And then aligned, we've got Prism Sculpture. Um, Sculptor of Arclight. And on the back, we've got Prism. Very cool. Yes, all I can say, start playing this game before it's too late. <laughs> Definitely try and pick some of these packs up because they are cool. And we got a uh, Dread Screamer, a uh, Boonding Demigon, a Graveling Growl, Herald of Ra Ravages, Courage Steel Hand, Warchune Herald, Seek Enlightenment, Warmonger's Recital, Re uh, rec rec recital? Um, I'm not sure, Adrenaline Rush, uh, Spew Shadow, Memorial Ground, Blood Tribute. Is that a foil? It's a very subtle foil if that's a foil. It's kind of hard to tell, isn't it? Yeah, that's a foil. You can see it on the red. The blood kind of like... That's crazy cool. And that's a common. And as our equipment, we've got Blood Drop Brossade. And then as our rare, we've got dim Dimensional... Two! 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 Double rare that's the same, just different colour. Interesting. And then as our... Uh, Token on the back, we've got Ravness and Soul Shackle. This is really kind of, if it wasn't like wonky at the top, it would be very aesthetically pleasing. And if you stuck around this late and you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe. We open all sorts of different TCGs, so definitely worth if you're interested in many different TCGs. Um, there's, a, there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot to keep up with. Uh, we've got Spew Shadow. Um, Minnowism, Belittle, Brandish, um, Rally of the Rear Guard, and then Mark of the Beast is a mythic rare. This is really good. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, I think it's really good. It's a foil mythic. <laughs> so, uh, a majestic, sorry, not a mythic, sorry, I'm thinking of magic. Uh, a foil majestic. We, we take it. Very cool. Six attack for a two cost. Uh, so if Mark of the Beast would be put into your graveyard from anywhere instead, banish it. Uh, blood debt at the beginning of your end phase. If Mark of the Beast is in your banish zone, lose one. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Hmm, very cool. Uh, so we've got Aoife Iron Weave, and then we've got as our rare uh, Sleeping Shadows, and a Majestic Bolting Blade. That is double. We got two Majestics out of one pack there. That's really good. And then on our end, we've got Chain and a uh, Galaxy Black. That was not a bad pack at all. Double Majestic, one being foil. All right. <laughs> all right. No, oh, oh. Oh, no double-sided token there. This might mean something. I'm not sure. <laughs> so, we've got Boneyard Marauder. We've got Rifted Torment, Seeds of Agony, Herald of Protection, Second Swing, Herald of Rebirth, Lunatide Plunderer, Eclipse Existence, Impenetrable Belief, Warmonger's Recital. Uh, oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, I have not seen a car. Oh, okay, so we've got Starry, Warten Hog, and we have been treated here. I'm going to have to put these cards down. We have got Blood Drop Brossade as a cold foil. Look at how the cold foil... Oh, wow. So a cold foil is different to the rainbow foil. As you can see, the whole kind of card... Oh, don't shake too much. Don't shake too much. This is really, really, really... So you can only get cold foils if it's an equipment, a weapon, or a hero, I believe. It, around, around those. So all of the foils we had before were generic kind of actions. Whereas this is a cold foil. So cool. We'll sleeve it while we're here. You know. <laughs> we could have sleeved them all, but I'm just... we. I do that off camera, so it's okay. But wow. There we have it, guys. Our first cold foil of the box. And that's why people want first editions. Because first editions have the cold foils. So we've got Rune Blade... Uh, sorry, we've got Aoife Iron Weave. Then we've got Howl from Beyond as our rare. We've got Glisten as our second rare. And on the end, we've got a Cracked Bauble. You teasing me? Cracked Bauble? What are you doing here? 
<laughs> um, so yeah, I thought we were going to get something cool, but it's just a cracked bauble. <laughs> Damn. I'm so pumped we managed to get a cold foil though. I was starting to doubt it. I was like, um, not being too familiar with all the first edition boxes. I was like, where, where, where are these cold foils that have been promised, you know? Although it's a common, it's still well cool. It's very cool. So we've got Smash with Big Tree, Bounding Demigon, Arcanic Krangle, Engulfing Light, Wartoon Herald, Bolt of Courage, Impenetrable Belief, Adrenaline Rush, Lunatide Plunderer, Frontline Scout, Warmonger's Recital, Spew Shadow. See, this one isn't quite a cold foil, but it's a common. We'll take the common foil. It's okay. Then we've got Ironhide Plate, Seek Horizon as our rare, uh, Invigorating Light as our second rare, and then the, the, the dude on the back as our token. We should kind of have these cards already now. We're kind of, um, it's a different color, but we'll take it in different color again, but we'll take it. Uh, we can kind of like start like, although they're like different colors, I'm just grouping them together. Um, Cause we are gonna run out of space, no doubt. So we've got Unworldly Bellow, Pair, piercing Shadow of Eyes, Dread Screamer, Spears of Serenity, uh, Surre Surreality, sorry, Surreality, uh, Second Swing, Herald of Protection, Minnowism, uh, Surging Militia, Void Wrath, Ghostly Visit, Illuminate, uh, Consuming Aftermath is a rare foil. We'll take a rare foil. It's better than common. Um, then we've got Dream Weavers. We've got Orc to Ode to Wrath is our rare. And then Seek Horizon as our second round. On the back, we've got the Hatchet. Uh, have we already pulled an Ord? I do not recognize it. On the pile he goes. So, now we've got Bounding uh, bounding Demigon. Smash for Big Tree. Piercing Shadow of Eyes. Herald of Ravages. Express Lightning. Enigma Chimera. Seek Enlightenment. Void Wraith. Lunatide Plunderer, Memorial Ground, Impenetrable Belief, Memorial Ground again. If I just skip, yeah, sorry. <laughs> That's a foil, but it doesn't look like it. It's a generic instant foil, but it really, it's so hard to tell with some of these. But yeah, it's a foil. Wow, crazy. And then on this one, we've got the equipment, Ironhide Helm, Invigorate and Light is our rare, Out Muscle is our second rare. And then Levia, you'll recognize from the Blitz decks. Have we got an Outer Muscle anywhere? Not seeing it. So we've got Dread Screamer. We have Rifted Torment, Hungering Slaughterhouse, Courage Steelhand, Herald of Ravages, Engulfing Light, Adrenaline Rush, Warmonger's Recital, um, blinding Beam, Minnowism, Zealous Belting, Soul Reaping as our rare foil. That's a cool one. The, the, the thing she's like, this like, I don't know what to call it, <laughs> but it kind of like reflects, which is pretty cool. Can we get a light on it? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I'm running out of places to put cards, so you can go here. And then as our equipment, we've got Dreamweaver. Uh, we've got Herald of Judgment as our rare. And Tremor of Irafio as our second rare. Interesting. I'm not sure how to pronounce that card, but we'll move the rest of our commons, etc. A bit further off. So next, we got Rift Bind. We got Boneyard Marauder, Seeds of Agony, Spears of Sorelli, Second Swing, Herald of Rebirth, Overlord. Rising Solar something, Frontline Scout, Rally of Rearguard, Spew Shadow, Yinti Yanti. So yeah, this is the first card I kind of appreciate. It looked really cool. And we got it as a foil. Not bad. Yinti Yanti looks cool. Nonetheless. I just like the idea. A lot of the, you know, the thought behind these cards is really cool. Put you there. Then we've got Ironhide Gauntlet. Then we've got Soul Reaping. We just saw you as a, a foil. And then Howl from Beyond. And then Levia again. Um... You can go up here, and you're down there. Bruh, let's do this. So we got Growling Growl, a Graveling Growl, sorry. Arcane Crackle, uh, Dreadwood Rumbler, Cross the Line, Watching Herald, Take Flight, 
Overlord, Lunatic Plunderer, Memorial Ground, Pound for Pound, Stony, Wattenhog, Express Lightning. I believe we may have seen this one already. It's still very cool. As a common, and then we've got the Blood Drop Brochet. We saw this as a cold foil. And then we've got rare Convulsions from Bellows of Hell and rare Battlefield Blitz. And then Soul Shackle on the end. <clears throat> I am losing. I'm gonna I'm gonna lose my voice. Here we go, you are there. And Battlefield Blitz, we may not have seen. You can stay there. Cool. One cold file. It's only one cold file per box, that's kinda crazy. And um, so we've got Rip through reality, unworldly bellow, piercing shadow eyes, herald of tenacity, take flight, watching herald, void wraith, adrenaline rush, ray of hope, ghostly visit. That's cool. A uh, yinty yanti and terror of er uh, I, I, I really feel something. This is our foil, so it's still pretty cool. Um, and a rare nonetheless. So we'll take a foil rare. Hell yeah. And then we've got Gallantly Gold, we've got Rare Out Muscle, Focus Camera, and then we've got the Majestic Beacon of Victory. This gives you nothing if you pitch it, and it has no attack, so it's just a, uh, an, oh, it's a reaction card, so it might be, I'm not even, I wasn't, yeah. Additional cost to play Beacon of Victory, banish X cards from your hero soul, X can't be zero. Target attack gains plus X, if you've charged this turn, search a deck for an attack. Card would cost X or less, reveal it and put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. We like searching cards. <laughs> Any card that searches a card is pretty good. So we've got Hatchet of Mind as well as the back card. Yeah, this box is definitely um, <laughs> definitely taking up the space. What brands do we use? You can't even see anymore, they're gone. <laughs> they are long gone. We've got Levi in the back there. So we've got Death, uh, Deadwood Rumbler, uh, Arcane Crackle, Unworldly Bellow. Herald of Protection, Engulfing Light, uh, Yinti Yanti, uh, Void Wraith, rrr, something, uh, Overlord, and then we've got Brandish as our foil, and then we've got Stubby Hammers, uh, Tear, Tremor, of, uh, we just had you, Rare, Valiant Frost as well, two I think we've already seen, but this isn't a foil, so I need to find a new home. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> can I give you a home? Thank you, and then Valiant Frost is here. Oh, that's cool. I don't think we've seen him before. That's Levi's Shadowborn Abomination. So, this is the, I think it's the Blitz version, I think they call it, when you've only got 20. And then these are for like the longer, bigger games. A card with six or more has been put into your Banish Zone. This turn cards you own lose blood debt during the end phase. Cool. Very cool art, we like it. We got B bounding demi demigun. Oh, don't sneeze. Oh, almost. Sorry about that. Wow, well, was not expecting that. So, um, <laughs> we got bounding demigun, boneyard marauder, rifted torment, spears of serenity, bull of courage, enigma chimera, seek enlightenment. <laughs> oh dear, I'm sneezing away. Not good at all. Right, spew shadow. <laughs> Minoism, uh, Rising Solar Tide, Blood Tribute, uh, Boneyard Marauder as our uh, Rainbow Foil. And then Time Skipper's gen Generic Equipment, uh, Phantasmify is our rare. Have we seen that one yet? And as a Majestic, we've got Spill Blood. Almost missed the Majestic there. Can't be missing those Majestics. I don't believe we've had Spill Blood yet though. Another card in. Ooh, Chain Charm by Shadow. It's cool seeing the, the spooky ones. <laughs> uh, two packs to go of our first booster box. Wow. There's just too much to like talk and go through all the cards. There's like, there's a lot. <laughs> a lot more than I like I expect. So we've got a uh, Dread Screamer, Rift Bind, Hungering, Cross the Line, Herald of Rebirth, Herald of Ravages, Frontline Scout, Rally the Rear Guard, Illuminate, Seek Enlightenment, Pound for Pound, un uh, Unhaloed Right. Is our rare? That's a rare foil. We'll take it. Oh yeah. Uh, Ironhide Gauntlet as our equipment. Endless Maw as our rare. Uh, Herald of Triumph as our other rare. And Hatchet as uh, the the token, I guess. Dude, we're running out of so much space. Last pack. Bless it. See if we can get anything cool. 
I believe, in the heart of the Flesh and Blood cards, I guess. <laughs> oh, this is another one that doesn't have a back, so it must be the bauble. I'm assuming. I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to figure this out. Right, so we've got Pierce, Piercing Shadow of Eyes, Seeds of Agony, Deadwood Rumbler, Bolt of Courage, Herald of Protection, Take Flight, Lunatide Plunderer, Frontline Scout, Rally the Rearguard, Harmongers, Brandish, Spew Shadow as your Rainbow Foil. So, yeah, I guess just not having that back card because we got a Cold Foil on that pack last time. So, I guess it does not guarantee anything. And then, as our equipment, we've got Evan Fold. As our rare, we've got Dusk Path uh, Pilgrimage, Seeping Shadows, and then Cracked Barble. So, if we ever get a Cracked Barble, we know it's not um, like guaranteed a Cold Foil or something. Well, that's the first box. We kind of run out of space, definitely. <laughs> um, so, I, I, I get... Yeah, I'm not too sure how we go forward <laughs> with uh, where we put the cards. So, let's crack the next box open. Does this box have a Majestic Cold Foil in it? Let's see. You can hear the struggle. <laughs> Trying to get into it. Hurt myself more. <laughs> um, chuck you over here, and we'll just take it from the top. We won't like, you know, mix and grab. We'll just, we'll just start taking from the the booster box itself. Can't get over how those cold foils look though. They look so cool. It's got rift bind. We've got unworldly bellow, piercing shadow eyes, spears of Sorelli, second swing, herald of protection, stony warthog, ghostly visit, surging militia, rising solar tide, spew shadow, uh, graveling growl as our common rainbow, uh, rainbow foil. Uh, I said rainbow and started thinking of Pokemon like rainbow rails. Like whoa, it's not that good. And <laughs> we got rare. Uh, we got a majestic celestial cataclysm, which is pretty good. We'll take it. Um, and then on the end we have got Chan, obviously. Um, where do we put this guy? So we put Glisten here, but I don't believe we've... We're just going to have to start like being like tight, stingy with space, I guess. <laughs> A bit more stingy with space. Just confirming as well, we definitely get 24 packs. Not bad at all. 24 packs, we're killing it. It just feels like so much. Uh, we'll pull this to the front. So we got... It's a, it's a Livia pack. We've got Smashing Big Tree, Bonding Demagon, uh, Deadwood Rumbler, Take Flight, Enigma Chimera, Courageous Steel Hand, Stony Wanton Hog, Yinti Yanti, Seek Enlightenment, Overlord, Rising Solar Tide, Pulping as our Rainbow Foil. We'll just put you here. Ironhide Gauntlet. Then we've got Seek Horizon as our rare and Howl from Beyond. And can we quickly... Ju -ju 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 -ju, I recognize Howl from Beyond. There it is, and Seek Horizon. I also recognize, boom. So once we see most of it, I guess like, we don't need to clear the space up. Whew. So, we got Iris of Reality, that looks cool. Um, Acne Crackle, Deadwood Rumbler, Rip for Reality, Herald of Rebirth, Courageous Steel Hand, Herald Tenessi, Rising Solar Tide, Blood Tribute, Lunatide, Frontline Scout, Rally of Rearguard, Rally of Rearguard Foil, double, back to back. Um, not sure where my Rally of Rearguard is, but we'll put it there. Time Skippers, V for Vanguard as our rare, and M, Deep Rooted, a little Deep Rooted Evil as our Majestic. Not doing too bad with Majestics at all. I feel like we're getting a healthy amount, and V for the Vanguard will just have to live um, here, next to the foil. The foil in the, the regular it looks so similar. If you don't have the right light, it's crazy. Iris of Reality. Then we've got Prism, Seeds of Agony, Hungering Slaughter Beast, Rifted Torment, Herald of Tenacity, Express Lightning, Warchun Herald, Illuminate, Pound for Pound, Blood Tribute, Brandish, Zelia Spelting, Bolt of Courage is a Light Warrior Attack. Common looks cool, looks cool nonetheless. Um we'll put you we'll put you here. Uh, Galanting Gold is our equipment, Out Muscle is a rare, and an Exclude Confidence and Majestic. Back to back Majestic out there. Not bad, not bad at all. We'll chuck you here and you here. We're just going to start messing the piles, but you can see there's a lot. <laughs> We're pulling out the value. We're pulling out all the value. Um, so we've got 
Prison Sculptor of Arclight, uh, Unworldly Bellow Piercing, Deadwood Rumbler, Bolt of Courage, Held of Protection, Express Lightning, Pound for Pound, Memorial Ground, Warmonger's Rec Recital, Belittle, Void Wraith, Seeping Shadows as our Rainbow Foil. Kind of hard to tell that one, but because it's so dark, but there's definitely a foil on there. Uh, Ironhide Helm, Withering Beast Hulk, and V for Gengar, Double Rare. Um, we have these somewhere. <laughs> we, I know we have. Oh, that's two back to back V for Vanguards as well. We pulled one in the last pack. But yes, if you've skipped ahead and you've missed what I've said before, check us out over at TalkCards.net. We do everything TCGs, everything board games, whatever you can think. We've probably got it. You know, we Flesh and Blood, especially if you've found us from looking at Flesh and Blood, we've got that as well. Um, so definitely worth a, a quick Google. Uh, we've got the camera keeps trying to focus on these cards, and it never does it on anything else. It's so weird. I just keep seeing a big square. It's really weird, right? So we've got Enigma Chimera, Express Lightning, Courageous Steel Hand, Warmonger Recite, Recite, Recital, Brandish Illuminate, Zealous Belting, Impenetrable Belief, Deadwood Rumbler as our Rainbow Foil, and Hooves of the Shadow Beast as our equipment. May rare Tremor of Irithiel and then the rare Battlefield Blitz. We have seen those two before. Nothing too crazy with those. I can't get over these packs though. Look at these packs just out of comparison. The focus camera. There we go. So cool. It's so cool when they do stuff like this that puts together a picture. Very cool. We like it. <laughs> So we got Ravenous, uh, the Meat Axe, very interesting. We got Livia, uh, Unworldly Bellow, Rip Through Reality, Beyond Marauder, Bolt of Courage, Enigma, Second Swing, Blinding Beam, Rally the Rear Guard, Frontline Scout, Warmonger's Recital, Seeping Shadows. We just seen you as a foil. Stop stealing our foil spot. Uh, we've got Stubby Hammers, we've got V for Vanguard, and Seek Horizon as our rare. Uh, v for Vanguard is. Uh, there. And then Seek Horizons is there. I don't know. Make can go there. <laughs> Next, we've got Bolton. And on the front, we've got Sir Bolton, Breaker of Dawn. Got an upgrade. Uh, Boneyard Marauder, Rifted Torment, Dread Scre Screamer. That's terrifying. That is terrifying. Uh, we've got Herald of Protection, Engulfing Light, Enigma Chimera, Mino Wisdom, Zelius Belting, Brandish, Adrenaline Rush, Overlord, Arcanic Crackle as another Rainbow Foil. This kind of all, I almost thought we pulled a Cold Foil there, but no, it's a common, it's just the sword looks really cool as a Rainbow Foil. Uh, we'll have to put you here because I know we haven't pulled you. Uh, we've got Hooves of the Shadow Beast, Battlefield Blitz is a rare, and on the end, a Pulping as our next rare Pulping. You're over here. I think it's time we start a new pile, because this pile's starting to get a bit big. Don't want any accidents. Don't want any accidents. Come on, let's see when we'll see the cold file. So we've got Soul Shackle, Rift Bind, Graveling Growl. Uh, we've got Arcanic Crackle, Herald of Tenacity, Take Flight, Herald of Rebirth, Lunar Side Plunderer, um, Impenetrable Belief, Adrenaline Rush, Memorial Ground, uh, Ghostly Visit, uh, Frontline Scout is our generic action foil, and then we've got Ironhide Gauntlet, Parable of Humanity, and Consuming Aftermath. You guys can just go there, I don't recognise those two, but still two res. We'll take the res. <laughs> Um, so that means it's a bauble. Um, so, we've got Riftbind, uh, we've got Hungering, we've got Piercing Shadow Vise, Bolt of Courage, Herald of Rebirth, Watching Herald, Lunatide Plunderer, Frontline Scout, Talisman of Do, Dowsing, Mimo Swin, Pound for Pound, Light Defense Reaction, Soul Shield, that's a majestic, that's a majestic rainbow foil. I almost, that almost got past me there, it struck me, I looked at that card and I was like, whoa, that looks different, but it didn't look like a cold foil. Oh, yeah. Kind of crazy. Put you next to you up here because I assume that has some value, definitely. So we've got generic equipment chest, unhallowed rights rare, uh, tremor of a refill, and the cracked bauble. It's like I was psychic. I knew. <laughs> How did I know? 
Uh, we'll make a new pile here as well. So we've got Spectral Shield, then we've got Hatchet of Mind, Dread Screamer, Bounding Demigon, Graveling Growl, Express Lightning, Held of Protection, Cross the Line, Surging Militia, Impenetrable Belief, Talisman of Doozing, Zealous Belting, Pound for Pound, Eclipse Existent as a Shadow Instant Common. I think we saw this card earlier and I said this was very cool. Um, then we've got Evanfold, we've got Rare Consuming Aftermath, Dimensional Gateway is a Rare. Um, you almost put those two away. I think it may have just started chucking it down outside, so if the audio gets a bit bad, I do apologise towards the end. It ain't great. It's every time, every time you want to record a video, the the, <laughs> the rain's like, ah, oh, no, mate, you can't. Sorry. <laughs> so we got Bolton, we got Seeds of Agony, Deadwood Rumbler, Graveling Growl, Cross the Line, Herald of Ravagers, Take Flight, Illuminate, Memorial Ground, Blood Tribute, Surging Militia, Seek Enlightenment, Herald of Rebirth is a common rainbow foil, and then we've got. Eve Ironweave, Herald of Judgment is our rare, and Soul Reaping is our next rare. Uh, Soul Reapings are up here, and I guess you can live here. Got a dark pack. Come on, let's see what we get. Come on. So, we've got Levia, Shadowborn Abomination, Iconic Crackle, Unworldly Bellow, Piercing Shadow Valve, Herald of Ravages, Express Lightning, Enigma Chimera, Ray of Hope, Spew Shadow, Surging Militia, Lunatide Plunderer, Blinding Beam, Prismatic Shield is a rare rainbow foil. Again, some of these instants look so cool as a rainbow foil. They don't even need the cold foil treatment. This is really cool. Then we've got Blood Dry Bro Seed, um, Unhallowed Rites, and the Majestic Tear Limb from Limb. Draw a card, then discard a random card. If a card with six or more attack is discarded this way, the next brute attack action card you play gains plus X, where X is its base. Nice. And then go again. Because why not? Because <laughs> why not? So we've got Chase, then we've got Chase Bound by Shadow, Boneyard Marauder, Iconic Crackle, Hungering Slaughter Beast, Courage of Steel Hand, uh, Herald of Ravages, Engulfing Light, Spew Shadow, Stony, Watten Hog, Illuminate, Seek Enlightenment, Overlord, uh, Eclipse, ooh hoo hoo, now that looks like a cold foil, and that's, oh it's a legendary, oh we've pulled something, I'm not sure what we've pulled but we've definitely pulled something. Legendary chain special play eclipse only if you've played six or more cards of blood debt this turn. If you have, you may play eclipse from your banished zone, creating Urza the Soul Reaper token. Right, I am not sure, but this may be a holy grail. <laughs> this may be like a crazy good card that I'm not aware. So, in a sleeve it goes because. <laughs> That definitely looks like the style of cards that I know previously were very expensive. Let me know in the comments how rare this card is because I am not sure I'll definitely be looking after. It's just kind of hard to gauge. There's no prices anywhere online at the moment. So we've got Prismatic Shield as a rare and then a rare Herald of Triumph. That might be our holy grail right there though. These are the two cold foil cards we pulled. This one being a legendary. Um, or unless this is what legendaries look like, we'll sharp find out. But we've definitely, definitely pulled some gems here. Um, <laughs> definitely. Is it a zero zero zero? No, it's a it's a one ninety. So sometimes they put like a zero 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 card in the set as well. I haven't seen one for this set, so I might just be making stuff up. But. Um, Hatchet of Mind, we've got Bounding Demigon, Unworldly Bellow, Rifted Torment, Warchune, Herald of Tenacity, Express Lightning, Rising Solo, Belittle, Rally of the Rearguard, Yinti Yanti, Ghostly Visit, Pound for Pound as our Rainbow Foil. And then on the end we've got Ironhide Plate, we've got Plow Through, we've got Seeping Shadows, two rares on the back. Not too many packs left to go through, so again, once again, if you're still with us, thank you for staying with us. Hope you're enjoying the opening. 
let us know what you think in the comments. Am I just missing complete gems that are worth loads? <laughs> We've got Courage of Steel Hand, Watching Herald Belittle, Zealous Belting, Ghostly Visit, Blinding Beam, Frontline Scout, Smash with Big Tree. I definitely not like to be smashed with a big tree. <laughs> That's like some terrifying like last uh, like the last thing you see. <laughs> definitely crazy. Uh, we've got Ironhide Plate, Tremor of Arifiel, Endless Maw as our two rares on the back. Uh, I'll just start like kind of piling them at the bottom. I have a feeling that Eclipse is a gem. I'm not even sure though. It's so hard to gauge with these cards. We've got Spectral Shield. It's a legendary. I don't think we'd pulled a legendary yet, so it is pretty nuts. Hatchet of Body, Seeds of Agony, Dread Screamer, uh, Spears of Shirley, Second Swing, Herald of Rebirth, Rising Solar Tide, Stony Watten Hog, Seek Enlightenment, Illuminate, Brandish, Splill Blood as our Rainbow Foil. Then as our equipment, we've got Hooves of the Shadow Beast, Consuming Aftermath as our Rare, uh, and then a Majestic Torm Torment. That's a cool card. It looks like an evil uh, book from Harry Potter, Prisoner. Oh, wow, that's so cool. They're majestic as well. We've done. These packs are blessing us. I feel like they're blessing us. Loads of shadow and light cards in this. I think we've got another bauble here going on as well. Bauble. Put you down here. So we've got Boneyard Marauder. Uh, we've got Rift Through Reality, Deadwood Rumbler, Cross the Line, Watune, Take Flight, Ghostly Visit, Adrenaline Rush, Belittle, Lunatide Plunderer, Brandish, Eclipse Existence, we've seen this rainbow foil. Uh, Ironhide Helm, Seek Horizon as our rare, and Rise Above is our next rare. That's cool! That's another really sick artwork. It's like she's ascending from hell, that's so cool. Flesh and Blood is crazy, man. They've got some crazy stuff going on here. So we got Prism, we got Rupri Reality, Hungering Slaughter Beast, Smash with Tree, uh, Engulfing Light, Spears of Serality, Bolt of Courage, Overlord, Void Wraith, Binding Boom, Zelius Being, Surging, Overlord as our generic action rainbow common. <laughs> That's a lot of words. Uh, Dreamweavers, Endless Mars our rare, uh, and Tremor of Arif. Uh, I can't say that word, but you, you've seen, we've seen it. <laughs> we've seen that one before. Literally a few packs left. Dude, I really hope that Eclipse was so good. I really hope. Um, we got Urza the Soul Reaper, uh, Rifted Torment, Hungry and Slaughter, Seeds of Agony, Herald of Protection, Second Swing, Herald of Rebirth, Yinti Yanti, Rising Saw, Void Wraith, Seek Enlightenment, Impenetrable Belief, Smash with Big Tree. This is a foil again, and it's, it's definitely not the last thing I'd want to see. Um, we got. We got Stubby Hammers, Herald of Triumph, and Arc Light Sentinel as our Majestic. That looks so cool as well. That's a lot of text though. A lot of text on that one. Four packs. Four packs to go. Can we be Eclipse? We will see. Got Hatchet of Mind, Bounting Demigon, Hunger and Slaughter Beast, Rift Mind, Herald, Take Flight, War Tune, Surging Militia, Spew Shadow, Overlord. Warmonger's Recital, Ghostly Visit, Frontline Scout, um, Ironhide Player, Out Muscle, and then Plow Through. Really cool. Whew. My words per minute right now are going through the roof. So we've got Soul Shackle, Dread Screamer, Rip Through Reality, Dreadwood, Engulfing Light, War Tune, Bolt Courage, Brandish, Eclipse, Minna Wisdom, Adrenaline Rush, Memorial Ground, Seek, Enlightenment as our common rainbow. And then we've got Aoife, uh, Iron Weave, then we've got uh, Vixing Malice, that's a cool artwork. And then a Glisten Rare at the back as well. Last two packs, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a pretty long video. It's been a pretty long video. So we got Bolton, uh, Smash for Big Tree, Rifted Torment, Graveling, Courageous, Herald of Protection, Engulfing Light, Warmonger's Recital, Blinding Beam, Illuminate, Void Wraith, Blood Tribute, Out Muscle is a rare rainbow foil, we'll take it. Um, we've got Ironhide Legs, Captain's Call, and then Withering Beast Hulk, that's cool. R Rivering? Uh, I'm not sure what that word is. <laughs> Last pack of the Monarch box. It's gone. Just like that. Oh, it's so cool. The art keeps going. That's so cool. 
I'm just admiring the box. <laughs> Don't mind me, just admiring the box. Well, cool. Bless the pack. Oh, come on. Let's see what we get. And that pack fell to pieces. So we got Soul Shackle, and then we got Galaxy Black, Piercing Shadow Vies, Dread Screamer, Piercing Shadow Vies, Spears of Shredity, Bolt of Courage, Enigma Shimera, Pound for Pound, Rally of the Rearguard, Blood Tribute, Frontline Scout, Ray of Hope, Unworldly Bellow as our common rainbow foil. Then we've got Ebon Fold, Merciful Retribution, and on the end, an Endless Maw as our. Uh, whew, overall, I think this was pretty good to be honest. Uh, definitely, definitely got some prices to look up later. This Eclipse, I have a feeling this is a little gem like. I have a feeling this legendary, this is crazy cool to pull. And of course, you pulled the Cold Foil, cold foil Blood Drop bro, 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 bro Shade. So. And all these cards, not to mention these cool cards that are already <laughs> on the table. Once again, guys, thank you so much for sticking till the end of the video. Smash a like if you've enjoyed the opening. You want to see some more Flesh and Blood stuff. If you've bought a box, I want to know what you pulled. Do hashtag Total Cards. We love to see people's openings. And I'll see you all in the next video.